Hi guys, so in this video I'll do an unboxing of the Anna Griffin Paper Sneaker Craft Box Auto Ship. Um, I suppose if this is the only thing I'm working with, I might as well go ahead and do a whole tutorial also. So, um, this is an auto ship type thing, so right now I know, because I saw it, ooh, I almost did something bad there. Um, I think on an email from Anna Griffin or something, but the, the she has this on her site, which I don't have any kind of affiliation with or anything, but I know it's there. So you can check out AnnaGriffin.com, I suppose. Um, I do know that on HSN they have the first iteration, the pointy shoe one that I just I love it so much. I it's so different, right? So it's not for everybody, and I understand that. But this is my sample that I had created. Look how pretty if the shoe fits. Wear it. I really like this design. This sneakers one was my least favorite design, so we will see. Just because it is a little different. Um, but I like the other ones, like the wingtips and then more of these kind of fancy shoes. So looking forward to those. But I will link the original one in the description box um, with an affiliate link. That means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items to those links. I know it's on sale um, on HSN and HSN is still doing the 550 craft cart today so if there's something you missed yesterday or you still want to pick up or maybe you just missed the craft day because it was also tax day and all kinds of things and you know my day was ridiculous and I already made videos about that so I'm not gonna well I'll expand on it a little bit because I think people are probably curious um yeah so I had a water line break um the hot water <laughs> I killed, ran outside, you know, my, it doesn't matter. My son came down and noticed there was water and thank God he came down to plug in his phone. So by the time we went up and that happened, it was probably maybe 10 minutes. So who knows when the water started actually coming out, but the water was in the dining area. So I ran outside and my husband runs down, he runs into the washroom. I run outside and I'm like, I'm just going to cut the water off. Cause he's like, Hey, I need help. I'm like, I'm cutting the water off. <laughs> like that's more important. Right? So I got there, turn this, you know, pull the switch there to turn off the water and sure enough, it stops. And then, um, just like what you know what are we gonna do now like what our minds were just like erasing so it took like every towel every shot you know our shop vac every <laughs> uh mop that we had and since we've had water problems before i know what they're gonna do they're gonna come in they're gonna put the fans all these things but like it barely was kind of touching some floorboards so that's why i was putting the towels down to get it away from the floorboards like keep it away from going in and up the walls you know that kind of thing you know getting leached up there so uh, I think we did that. I think we did a good job. It took probably two or three hours, I guess, and, you know, go to sleep like kind of by midnight. We were, like, exhausted, and I called a plumber at that point. He didn't really do much other than turn the switch off also, like, inside. And I thought my husband couldn't reach, couldn't get it, like, to turn. That's what the problem was. That's why I called the plumber. But no, he just couldn't reach it at that point. So, you know, we're freaking out, so I called the plumber anyway. So they came out, didn't do much. But the next day they came in to replace the whole box because I was just like, yeah, it looks corroded. And that was my bad because, honestly... A few months back, we were cleaning up, and I was cleaning things out from behind the, you know, stuff falls behind your washer and dryer. And I was like, ooh, this line looks bad. Like, I can see that it was, like, corroded, looking weird. And then it was just, like, out of my mind, you know. Should have replaced it then, but oh well. But thank you, guys. We took care of it. I still have fans going. I don't know if you can hear them, but uh, just in case, right? <laughs> and then, um, uh, but not too bad. It just was a lot of water that we had to get out of the house. And everything that was in the washroom moved out, and it was crazy, but... Anyway, I said I wasn't going to make a long story short, or long story long, but here we are. Um, okay, so they still have the uh, 550 craft cart today, so you guys can check that out, because I did my shopping late in the evening, because I was going to do it Monday. It was just, it's been crazy <laughs> a few days. I was going to do it Sunday night, I guess. Um, I guess yeah, I so I had already picked up the Today Special early, right? That's what I was able to show to you guys ahead of time. Um, but I did most of my shopping later yesterday <laughs> once things settled down uh, I'm still like washing towels you know because it took literally every towel in my house I probably wa brought down like 60 towels so that and then there's a comforter in there getting ready to get washed so that comforter got completely wet and it's just <laughs> things to do but anyhow we're gonna check this guy out today and we'll try it out and then I will follow up with um, tutorials for the wildflower uh, meadow scrapbooking collection i really wanted to have a live video you guys it just didn't happen I, I just yeah i mean the plumber was still here i didn't think it would take him that long i was like okay he was much <laughs> all day um but anyhow and then what else uh yeah i'll link whatever i did pick up because obviously it's already in packaging so hopefully i'll get most of my stuff like tomorrow or the next day um i'll link everything that i picked up so you guys can check it out and see what it was that i was thinking about so anyhow Finishing school paper sneakers craft box. I think on top there's usually oh maybe not. Where is it? 
yeah, fell down to the bottom. I was going to say, usually like a slip, slip in there. here or the inspo that I always forget to cover the coat up. But that is your finishing school code. If you have any issues with it, if you're not able to log in, uh, just let Anna Griffin's team know, like, their customer service, and they'll um, set it up for you better. Uh, or the, at least they'll help you out with that. Uh, so there you have a sample, and here it's telling you what you can do. You have your little shoe, and it's just a very fancy little sneaker, right? Um, I'd say almost orthopedic looking. It's very, like, soft, you know? Uh, so there you go, and your tongue, you know, whatever you want to dress it up is what they're showing you there. So yeah, it just has a very different look. And then this one is much more mailable, I will say, where the other one has that height to it that, for me, I think it'd be cute to put on top of, like, a gift box. Or obviously put it in a box with whatever you're sending or something, some other way to keep it safe, an envelope box, you know, a nice sturdy one. <laughs> uh, but there you go. All right. Oh, this is so pretty. I didn't even look at... Honestly, I thought everything was going to be more purple. So, and so I look at this, and I didn't even look at it because I was just looking for the paperwork. <laughs> it's really pretty. So she has that beautiful kind of olive, soft olive green ribbon, and then the little bit more brighter pink ribbon. Um, and then all these beautiful flowers. I am just like... The pinks in here are so pretty. I love the deep kind of red um, accents of purple little posies in there, blue flowers. I, I recognize some of these from like the Cart Noir. I mean, they're just all different sorts, it looks like, from different um, collections. Really pretty. And then the um, words here, or the sentiments, happy birthday to you, looking good on your birthday, we make a great pair, um, you stand out in the best way, that is very cute. There, I mean, there's other ones, happy birthday, um, what's this one? Something about style. Friends like you are always in style. Very cute. I like the sizing of those. Um, and then these are your accent pieces. I'm hoping, I'm, sh I'm assuming the dies are going to help you with that because once these are done, then what are you going to do, right? So let's check this out. Um, it makes your little eyelet covers and different colors there. Single sided. I don't know if these are stickers. It looks like they might be stickers, but I'm just probably going to use glue. Um, some of the little accent pieces, the toe kind of area. What do they call it? Toe box? The front area. Uh, let's see. Little laces. Very cute. And you can also, I don't know if, hmm, let's see. We'll see when we open it. But I was going to say, I don't know if you use this and the, the ribbon. It looks like you do. I'll put those there. Your envelopes. And I don't really know how many of each, but I'm assuming about 20. Right? Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, eh, either 18 or 20, guys. Um, okay, let's say these guys are your little background papers, and they're just basically slimline china cabinet paper. I don't know if it's all china cabinet, but I can see that that is china cabinet. It looks like it. Look at that. I haven't used my china cabinet in a while. Well, that's not true. I pulled different things out of it, but like not like the whole collection, you know? So anyway, really pretty. Look at that one. And the little, I love this the, kind of lipstick red, you know? Sagey color, and you get your foiling. And you guys, when I make videos and, you know, I get comments about, oh, you talk about this, you talk too much, you talk about different things, like, yeah, that's how it is, because I just re realized another thing I want to say in this video, and I probably should just save it for a different video, but I don't have anything coming in for, like, haulish, because usually my haul videos when I kind of just chat more. Uh, I, yeah, I'm going to have my wisdom teeth out tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, so who knows when I'll feel better to, like, just kind of talk, talk, talk. So today I'm going to make a ton of videos, and I'm still kind of recovering <laughs> from being sore from uh, the laryngoscopy I had a couple weeks back, so... Um, I'm just going to make a ton of videos to stockpile them, and I'll probably be very quiet here, but I'll have a, a video a day for you guys until I feel better and start kind of doing them more that day like I normally do. So, uh, thank you guys. Just thanks for your patience, because it's been rocky. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see here. Luckily, my wisdom teeth, they're kind of poking out, so I don't think they have to dig around for them, and I understand that that's like the worst when they really have to get in there. <laughs> so hopefully, it won't be too bad. Did I say root canal? I don't know. Wisdom teeth. Anyway. Um, beautiful cards. Again, uh, slimline on these guys. The slimline itself is three and three quarters by nine and a quarter. And I didn't give you a measurement on these, but these are usually... I don't even want to guess. I was going to say four. Yeah, four by nine. Four by nine. So it's already shorter than these guys. Right? Just to have that in mind. Very pretty. And then... 
usually they're flipped opposite just because of the score line makes them thick so they kind of layer them in a way this is really pretty i love that is this all cart no or china cabinet i don't remember like this one or that one very cute i did pick up create or crop at home sorry not create um four just a little treat to myself because I was just like stressed. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Yeah, no, I'm going to do it because I usually pick it up. I think two is the only one I didn't go to um, because one was kind of a little bit of a mess. But three was really, I think, well organized. I didn't do any cutting ahead of time just in case something was wrong. But like they gave you the paperwork. It was good. It was really good. And then you can also still access the classes where on one, I think until the next one, which would have been create. Uh, coming up, you don't get to see the classes anymore, and I don't think I even, can even log in at this point. Like, they're gone. Well, they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. So, uh, with the other one, something card, what's it called? I can't remember what that program they use. Um, it's still there. I can still go back and look, and th that's pretty cool. And actually, while you're there, if somebody else is logging at the same time, you can still chat with them, which is interesting. But, anyway, we have the dies. Uh, nice and big. I don't think it's too big to, like, go through the, to not be able to go through the marquee. So that's something to think about. Um, metal to metal, it's nine and a quarter, and three and five eighths, I would say, in the other direction. So yeah, definitely something you put pop into the marquee. It's gonna say put and pop, and it said poop. I don't know. Anyway, so you have this outer die. You have this guy that's gonna cut like your main decorative and you know pieces and all this good stuff. You do have an extra set or a set to make more eyelets, which is nice. Um, this guy that makes the little tongue piece and then the decorative piece for the tongue and then I mean you can layer it with the tongue piece that comes here but you also have that for later if you're just making that I will say it doesn't have a shadow piece but once you cut this piece this guy is complete you know what I'm saying so then you can layer that over and still have something decorative with a background layer um, the toe piece um, that also doesn't have a background die for it. I would like to have seen that for that guy. And then the little flowers. Very cute. That you can just decorate with. So we can see more examples, which I think are going to be the same as what's over there. So there you go. Oh, you know what? I didn't open this. And when I saw this green, I thought maybe there's different colors of foil in here. So let's check that out. Oh, well, it's not green, but there's gold and silver. So there you go. Oh, that's cute for the silver, like the eyelets, I guess, uh, would be nice. Um, there you go, just uh, lots of inspo. And again, just walking you through what you're going to do with that guy. And you can make a shaped card, I think. Should we make a shaped card today? Uh, last time I made it just regular like this. We can do a shaped card, sure, why not? Okay, well, let me put some things to the side. We'll start cutting. Um, yeah, I will say it's a bummer to cut into this pretty card. Well, I guess it's not. You're barely going to see it in the background. To be honest, I would rather just go into my stash and take like a beige piece of cardstock because you're not going to see very much of it. I mean, you see a little something there, but it's not the biggest deal. So maybe I'll do that. Or maybe we'll make the card base out of something cut that okay all right i have a different idea but i'll be right back i think my more decorative shoe part i'm gonna run through like gold paper so this one i'm going to go ahead and make the shape card base but i'm also going to cut it from the pretty paper so that way my card looks more complete oh i'll see show you what i mean by that now this guy is a big boy so obviously it doesn't go that way very well um i guess you could hinge it at the top though if you wanted you know what i'm saying so it hinges open like this something to think about um but i'm gonna go this way so let's do a little something here how wide is this i forgot already what i mentioned um it's just a little bit bigger than three and a half so we can go let's say three and three quarters times two so i'm gonna cut this uh, just to get rid of some of this length here, it's 11 inches. Let's cut one and a half. Sorry, I'm just making this up as I go. Yeah, we can even trim. Oh, one and a half is over here, that's why. <laughs> um, let's just do one and a half inches off here. So I'm just cutting down my paper too. Uh, so it's just a little shorter. 
Okay, so this is essentially nine and a half inches now by, what did I say? Let's say three and three quarters. I, if we can make it easy and just say by eight. <laughs> I don't really need this paper for anything else, so I'm going to cut half an inch off of this on the eight and a half inch side. And then we'll just score it at four inches, and that will be the card base I'm going to cut into to make the background like the actual shape card and not waste my pretty card bases, you know? You're not going to see much of it. Um, I just chose a cream color because a lot of this stuff always coordinates with cream colors. And we're just going to put this on the edge like that. So the other thing, what I was saying is, see how you're missing this whole piece? If that was just the background and then I started dressing up my shoe, I, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I want a full shoe. So I'm going to run this through like this, and then we're going to use the same die to cut some of the pretty paper. And um, that will be the base part. So let's just take that. And just like this, just right off the edge. Ah, run this through your die cutting machine. And I will be right back. Hey guys, here we go. And if you're putting this in the marquee, you know, you can make this slimmer. You don't have to have this so wide, but this is four inches anyway, so this should go through very easily. And so there you go. So that, again, that's why I was saying I, I rather have something that's going to. Oh, this is very closed up. There we go. Um, I will say, where's my box? <laughs> I put things to the side. Um, the cards are um, engraved already for you. So like, may this day be as stylish as your kicks. So. Again, if you want to use this, and that doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> um, I would just cover it, just a die cut or whatever. You know, let's imagine this is like a die, a matte layer. Just put it on top of there. Or another sentiment and stick it right over that. I mean, that's the other thing. Also, if you are making this a shaped card, it's going to be a little bit off, right? <laughs> because you might even cut into that. So just be careful. Um, maybe you hinge it a little bit less. Like this one, I hinged pretty widely. But maybe you bring it in a little bit more. So it's a little bit more... Uh, centered, but also you don't cut it off, right? So let's think about that if you are using those beautiful cards. Okay, uh, let's put that to the side. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to need it right now. I didn't give much thought to this because it's just going to be in the background anyway. Hmm. I always like to keep kind of subtle things, unless you want it to really pop. I mean, that's something else to think about. I was going to go with this red, but why don't we do this blue? Okay, let's do this guy, and I'm just going to run this through just like that. So we want that. You're going to be very careful. It goes right to the tippy top and the bottom. So I'll probably still put tape on that. I always tape it. It's not like it makes a difference. I'm like, well, I'm going to tape this one. I tape them all. <laughs> so there you go. And then this guy. I'm probably going to run through my little Walmart machine. The hobby one. Even though, yes, I have the Empress. I have both Empress and the Mini. And I have all the Geminis. And I have you know, all these different things. Um, I'm still going to run this through that Walmart one because it does pretty good embossing and everything as soon as I run it through. So, uh, let's see. On this guy. And again, it's almost tip to tip. You have a little more give on this guy. But you're definitely going to want to get the embossed look from this. So whatever you have to do for your machine to get the embossing going, go for it. Um, Usually with the, I was going to say with the marquee, with a die like this, the pressure is so great that it usually gets the embossing anyway. Um, but sometimes they'll put a piece of foam. Some people put a second piece of cardstock and run it through, and that's how they get the thickness that they need to get some embossing. So whatever it is for your machine that works, let's do that. So that's our first part, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so yeah, I just ran it through there. You have this piece. Maybe you can recycle that for something else, you know, one of the other shapes. I don't know. There we go. And then we have this. I'm trying to think what else is going on. Oh, the Spellbinders Spring Warehouse Cleaning. Very good stuff. Um, and just ridiculous pricing, which is really great. And there was something else I was thinking about when I took a little break to do my die cutting, but I can't think of it right now. Okay. Uh, so this one, I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. Does it have a certain look? It does appear to have... I don't know, it looks symmetrical to me, but this is probably the top side. You see it's kind of like bumps in, and then this? I don't know. Actually, that's interesting. <laughs> Hopefully, um, I feel like it probably should have been like this. Okay, so let's do that. It's a learning moment. Actually, what I can do is just turn this upside down, huh? Yes, okay, perfect. Well, then no harm, no foul. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you know I did the um, shape and then obviously I ran through this to me is the front side of the card right because that's where the dive went in but we are gonna cover the whole thing so I don't care that the back you know has the rough lines how funny okay so uh, keep that in mind guys excuse me so I'm just gonna flip it and place it this way and we're good to go I was just gonna junk it like trash it and do it again but hello duh we can do it this way all right perfect um, I'm trying to look at what's next as far as oh so cute okay so let me put the glue on this because obviously this hangs out the side a little bit and I don't know where to end that I'll be right on there how funny so if you want to pay attention to that I mean obviously if you're using a card base you don't want to flip it because then it's gonna be all chaos so pay attention to this guy where it makes like a little like it kind of kicks out I don't know it's so minimal but you can kind of see it kind of comes out here where this one's more smooth okay so that is actually your bottom area right so this should be towards the bottom where it kicks out oh my gosh how funny crisis averted all right let me look at um, the next steps and see what kind of selections I want to make with what you know I want to bring out of here and I'll be right back so as I'm looking at the steps they're saying to go do your eyelets next and then um, your ribbon threading and then you do your little tongue and just put it together and start decorating so it's very easy um, I will say I guess I could have formed the shoe to be like this it doesn't mean you has to be facing this way I mean if you want to face this one that's how you open your card and then you put your message here I mean you can face it whichever way right now that I think about it silly me okay um, so we have that I could run these guys through but I think we're gonna use these over here I don't really know what kind of accents because this is the other thing I was thinking about they don't show this in use do they show it in the examples no in the examples actually somebody used like some organza a thicker ribbon um, this looks like eh, it looks like it's wired but I was gonna say it looks like seam binding and this one they actually used um, shoelace kind of material <laughs> so that's interesting uh, if you're using this would it be behind no, it should be on top, huh? So, they don't have an example of this, so that's why I'm like, maybe I should use this. Well, I don't know if that one, but... And then put this over the top? That doesn't make any sense. I guess it's just supposed to give the illusion. <laughs> if you have this and then this. It kind of looks to me... Because, you know, that should be coming out of here. And that one there, that one there. I guess it's like that. Should we use that since we don't have an example of it? sure um let me give a little more thought to this i know i came back because i was like okay we're ready to go but i'm not really ready to go because we have the lace that no one's using so let's try <laughs> using that i have that blue background and the gold none of these really match that super well i mean this one's a little more masculine right that's interesting okay let's go with that one I wish she had okay there we go I was gonna say something blue to bring that blue back and of course that's why we have the dyes we can go into the paper but let's say we have this it's going to be pretty much covered up, <laughs> just so you know on that one. But they're there, and obviously that's the accent piece that's really cute. Okay, what's, okay. Um, what else, what else? Oh, the tongue and the foot and all that part, right? So here they have toe pieces, so again, if you want to cover it up, I mean, look at this one. Oh, that's the one we're going to have to use. I know it's very matchy-matchy, but I like the way that looks. And then you have this tongue piece again it could just match completely this piece I'm thinking does this fit that piece that fell out I was wondering if I run this through we might have some luck look at that I think we can recycle that piece totally you're gonna have to really tape it and make sure it doesn't move but other than that we'll get this piece from there this is gonna be the accent piece and I will be right back so I'm just gonna run this through obviously not with this but <laughs> I'm gonna run this guy through and I'll be right back by the way, <laughs> the adhesive for the eyelet piece, and then look at that. So we use that. Very good. Actually, you can probably run them through together at the same time if you... Well, maybe not. Well, no, I guess you could. Just the way it's, you know, layered in here, you can run them through at the same time. If you would like. If you like to live dangerously like I do. Um, I was going to say, it says add foam adhesive to the back of the eyelet embellishments and adhere to the top of the sneaker. <laughs> that's that would take a lot of work um, this is pretty small you know I think it's just a way to add layer you know um, 
a 3D element to it, but maybe that's a lot. So for me, I'm just going to glue it down. But then I was thinking, well, maybe if you do that, no, it still doesn't work. Okay, let's just glue that down. Okay, let's glue this guy down. Let's glue this guy to this. Right, it's going to be down in here like this, yeah. Uh, and it's just randomly cut, as you can see. I mean, it's not like perfectly somewhere on that design. It's just there. Okay, so we have that guy. We have this. I think I'm just going to stick this down also. So this part will just be... And you don't have to put the toe box decoration. It's very close to there. Where are they placing it? Hold on. Only because it's so close to the eyelets. Yeah, so they put it down first and then the eyelets on top. I think it just depends. This one, the eyelets at the bottom, that's on top, you know. Okay, so I guess. I'm just following the shape. And then here we go. Little glue. Never hurt anybody. So we're going to put that right there. I guess it doesn't mean we can't do a live or live scrapbooking. Maybe that's the I should do. I don't know. <laughs> I've been wanting to get into scrapbooking more again. And maybe that's something we can do like once a month or something. I suppose what you should do is like, okay, last month we went to wherever or we did this and I want to scrap that. Or, oh, you know, someone like Miranda turned 10 and I would scrap that or something. That would be fun. Maybe that's something I'll keep in mind. Okay. And then we have this guy. Again, they don't show anything about these guys, but I like the look of it. It's pretty cute. Um, you can pop them up, but for me, I feel like they should be flat down. So maybe I'll just do a little zhuzh in here. I don't know, to make it look more rounded. Wouldn't that be nice? We'll see if I, I'm able to do that. Because if I do that and I put, like, adhesive... Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. I was going to pop the whole shoe up. We could do that. I feel a little scared, like it might not work. But what I was thinking about doing is putting glue on the edges, right, like I do sometimes, and leaving that middle section a little more popped up. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't, it might not. I don't think so. <laughs> but, um, hmm. Okay. Actually, I can still glue this down, and then I'll deal with that in a minute. Because it would just be in the back where I put the adhesive anyway. So let's stick this guy down. I kind of gave it a zhuzh in the center, if you recall, so know that I did that. I'm trying to line these up with these eyelet holes. Um, right there? That's great. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work for me. I was going to try to put a 3D adhesive on the bottom that's higher here and lower here. It's just not going to work. That's okay. All right, at this point... we can do the tongue so if i didn't use those fake laces you would just lace it up and so just grab some ribbon you know from a length of ribbon they're saying it doesn't say how long but i would just kind of play with that and go ahead and just lace it up like you would lace a shoe and then it says to go ahead and put the tongue in hmm this is all very curious <laughs> Um, I don't know that there's a certain spot. You just put it where you think it looks best. And I guess that's where I could have put some adhesive foam. Maybe I'll still put some higher foam there just to pop that up. Um, this is for my stash. See if that'll give it some roundness. I was going to do double foam you know, that high, but you know, that's a lot of height. <laughs> so let's just... Do this. I guess at this point I can probably stick this to my card base. Yeah, so you know what? I'm going to take a moment to just put a foam all over this guy. And take the backs off and all that um, all around. And I will be right back. We're almost there, guys. And just making some choices as far as how you want to decorate. Um, maybe I'll put one extra one. Is that weird? I don't think it's going to help. <laughs> but anyhow, okay, I'll be right back. All, you know, on this section, I put two together because I thought maybe that'll help bring it up and it'll just look better. Um, okay, <laughs> so again, this guy goes in here. I'm just trying to see exactly like where it should be. I'm just holding it from the back. I guess right there is fine. I'm trying to put it in there straight. 
but it's not working for me. There we go. <laughs> and then just making sure this is touching the rest here. Okay, and then glue? Does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter here because the rest. That's cute. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I have 3D foam adhesives. They just want to stick as soon as it touches the surface. I was expecting glue for whatever reason. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh, let's get a dimensional under there. I didn't think about that. So, that did help adding a double layer of dimension here. It really popped that up for me. I'm going to try to put this in there as far back as I can before it sticks. Because I didn't think about it. You should have put that on before. Okay. And that's your basic shoe with the little um, eyelets from before. And they are glued down right here. And then in the center I have some adhesive. So, and look at that. Putting the double up adhesive there, it pops it up. Now with the bow, I mean, you can just put some glue or don't put anything. I think it's fine just the way it is. Uh, let me clean up a little bit and we're going to do our flowers and our sentiment. Okay, guys, so we have our little shoe card, and honestly, it's much cuter in real life, I will say. So, it has won me over. All right, friends like you are always in style. We should start with the flowers and then I go for this, but you are awesome. Oh, I like that. You make a great pair again. Happy birthday. No, now I'm looking at the colors, so I'm looking at the you're awesome or I like to make a great pair. You stand out in the best way. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, maybe I should wait. <laughs> Let's look at these flowers. I mean, I have the examples in front of me just to see kind of how they're pairing things up. Because, you know, I'm looking at things that have, like, blue. I mean, you guys. How cute. And, of course, you can do flourishes and all these other things that you have in your stash. They didn't really come with any. I do love that this has a little arch kind of look. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if there's one in there that coordinates with what I'm doing here. But... That's very cute. I like that they have those. Um, I was thinking the pink, you know, bring some pink out, maybe something like that. This are very big. <laughs> so let me kind of dig in here. I mean, we do have. Oh, also, you know, there's those die cuts that had the um, these little edges here, these side pieces. But I don't know. I kind of wanted to keep it more focused. How about something like that? Like that was in the back and this is kind of popped up. Cute. I do like the idea of having this guy though. I don't think it may be there, huh? Like if you were to use this on a different project. It only has those two. Oh, I'm telling you those burgundy ones are so pretty. Okay. Um. Hmm. Where can I put this? What can I own? Well, we have that. Maybe that, huh? Okay. So we'll show you how these are stickers, in case you're new to Anna Griffin. Um, and people always say, if you look on the back, if it's white, it's a sticker. And if it's like a cream color, it's, you know, that's just the back of the paper. And to me, they're so similar. Like, I don't make the differenti differentiation on that. But there we go. So let's do You Are Awesome. That's nice and straight. I think so. This guy, I'm going to put glue because part of it's going to be hanging off anyway. And you can support that with another dimensional adhesive if you like, under like here. If you're afraid that something might happen, but I'm just going to stick it right down. I think that's fine. And then these guys, I'm going to stick this guy down. I like exactly where it was, but since, actually, well, yeah, I'm going to use a wet glue because I don't know exactly where I'm putting that. But you could take the back off that too, obviously. That guy, where was it? More like there. See, I always forget. As soon as I remove it, I forget. Something like that. Okay, so let's put some dimensional in this guy. And we will call it a day. Nope, too many dimensionals. Put that back on the carrier in a second. A little glue on the back of this part. And then we'll clean up a little bit and I'll show you our final card here. Dimensional glue. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there is our little shoe. I got in too close, <laughs> but um, 
very cute. I mean, we have a little bit of dimension, very mailable in my opinion, even with this guy. Um, I didn't make it too, too high, and then everything else. Very different. I mean, I don't know. I'm into it. <laughs> I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really enjoy them. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, that's cute. The other side of that guy's showing there. Um, yeah, just pretty quick little project and uh, very interesting. So, like I said, it's not HSN right now, but I did see that um, Anna Griffin had it. So, if you want to check out her site, um, you can definitely find it there. And I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.